<laughs> I do like that though. That is good that. Right, welcome back. Door straps. So that is positioned on there like that, right? I'm supposed to hold your door. But when I fitted my Evo units, that you can't have it actually in there because the water tank catches it. So you've got to make sure that's open all the time and it was waiting for somebody to just slam the door with that inside pop straight to my water tank. So I've changed what I'm going to do with that, the design to it. And I'm looking at doing a gas strut one. So basically, right, these are what you find on bonnets and stuff for all this stuff up. It's just a basic gas strut. I'm only going to try and push that in. That is solid. And the idea of this is, right, I can get rid of that strap because if you see on my unit here, it's actually dented my unit where my own fault. I had some on here, all these pockets were full here, and it's pushed up against that and dinted my unit. Now, just to prevent further damage, I'm going down this route. They're not too bad, these. They're on eBay, Amazon, you can get them anywhere, really. But a lot of automotive shops do them as well. And with this, I've got some little brackets. And these are going to be for the bottom. Yeah, I know the chrome. I'll spray them, don't worry. And then we've got these, um, it's like an angled profile one. And these will go on the door. See if I can mount this onto here, like that, just upside down. And then on the other side, see I've got, I've got plastic trimming on here. There's a screw here, and I'm gonna see if that screw's long enough to go through there. And I'll mount the strut to that. So one end will go to that, and the other end will go to that door there. And that's the plan anyway. So we'll see if it works, and we'll see if we've got the right dimensions. So first off, I need some tools. That's why these door cards are good. Keep all these bits in it. Right. Get me in focus. Let's have a look at what we're playing with. So we'll stick a T27 in. Let's get this one whipped off. Right, let's all see how long these are. Longer, which I think we might do. We might just get it. Might do. Or might not, that is titchy. Let's have a look where that bracket goes to. So, the plan is, get out through there. Straight away, that hole's too small for it, so that's got to be drilled out. And I'm going to need a longer bolt for that. So we're going to have a two-seat garage now, get a longer bolt, because it's going to be a bit shy, that. And I also need to drill that out a little bit more. Where it's going to have a tooting Jones's little man cave. Right, we're back. So this, we need to check in the thread to make sure it works first, otherwise it's a pointless task. So we're getting that stuck in, what we're talking, number four. I think we're bigger actually, no we're not. See that's perfect, that. and it gives me a good few threads that bite into it and also clamp that down. So that'll be spot on. Yet again, it's chrome. But, now a bit of a spray can won't sort out. Right, let's get this chucked in. This is just like the test run first bit, you know what I mean? So we've got quite a, a good bite on that actually. So that's good. So we'll stick that in. I think what I'll do, if this works, I'll stick um, two um, screws in that there just fold it. But I think that'll be quite solid to be fair. It's just in case it spins. Well, the next job is that thing there. So, if we pop that off, I think that bit same again, T27, yep. Top two we'll use, leave that bottom one in, because we don't need a third one. So when I bought these, right, there's two, so they're opposites. One's right, one's left. So I've worked out which one, which side goes where. So left-hand side one, opposite left-hand side, isn't it? Right-hand side, and them holes line up, perfect. So if we stick that in, I'll show you. So there's our two holes, and those two holes line up absolutely spot on, and the ball ends on this end here. And I'll tell you what, this is running smooth, this. Have we jinxed it? Have we jinxed it? Where's that in there? Spin that round. Got a door and a bungee here, because it's windy. And knowing my luck, it'll just ping off. Messing about with a socket and I've got a thing here. Impact gun. Sat on bin hashtag worktop. 
Chop that one up. Chop that. I'm not going to whack them up tight yet. Because there might be some cheeky adjustments needed. That's that section on there. No, I, wouldn't, I don't think it's going to interfere with the door closing that. So I'll do a quick test first before I do anything with it. And then that's the other one there on there. So quite solid. I'll do a door test first. Because if door doesn't shut, it's kind of a pointless task, isn't it? Seems all right. Don't want to catch yet. So, let's get a bungee back on here. So, Mr. Wind up, set my door off. And then a gas strut. Now, this is um, UTT Automotive. Never heard of them. If you order these or when you're ordering it right, you want to get it where it's 850 long. So just under, under a metre on full extent and have it set to 100 newton metres as well because Facebook groups going about and they've tested it and these are the correct sizes. So 850 length, 100 newton metres. It's been trying and tested. There's no point in changing that, is there? Oh, okay, tape off. And you actually get two brackets in each case. Like I say, you've got left and right on that one and the little um, triangle ones. There's two of them as well, so you could do both doors if you want. I only need to do one door, me because my strap on the um, passenger sides does what it needs to do, doesn't it? Whereas this one, we need it to do something different. Now, in these, you've got a little locating pin, or it's a retaining pin, and you just pop that off and spin it around, take it out, and then that'll go on the ball. Body to the body, so that'll go on there, yeah. So, oh, before I forget, the 10 mil balls, so ball end, you want the 10 mil. And the idea is that goes in the hole there, and then pushes up, locks on. That's the idea anyway. Click it on first. Pin in, all the way through, and then walk it around. So that just retains that, stops it coming out then. And the next bit, so same again, set pin out, so spin pin back. Give me the door. Oh, there's my bungee gone. So clip that on, pin all the way through, and lock it down. Seems a little short that, doesn't it? That's an 850. My door's not straight. So if you look at an angle there, try and get it in camera. The door opens, but you don't get a full side open on it. So I'm wondering whether if we flip this opposite, that'll give me that couple more inch, uh, well, a couple more inch, inch in a bit, rather than the burn be, uh, the ball being on that end. If we go that side, I might get a bit more opening on it. It's all trial and error, isn't it? Got to try these things. Flip this that way, upside down, and we'll try again. The door opens a lot wider. That's better that now. She'll go. So it shuts, which is a bonus. And if we open it, <laughs> I do like that though. That is good that. Please get over door shut. Not an out rod. Gas strut. Jobs are good, eh? How good's that? So basically, that's going to help me stop rattling that unit. There's less chance that strap getting stuck in the water tank, which I just have visions of just having a mad moment for getting it. Slamming that door dead quick, and then it poof, straight through the water tank. It's like, no! And there's no room in that unit for getting the strap past it. And when you flip the strap back, it, you've seen the damage done to my unit, but gas struts, mint. Open it. Like an automatic door in it. <laughs> Love it. So there you go. A gas strut on your back door. Couple little modifications on it. Nothing major. And the bits are cheap as well. eBay, Amazon, gas struts. Honestly, cheap as chips. Those brackets, they're on eBay. I'll stick some links in the description below and you can have a go at it yourself. And it's a really good mod. And 
automatic doors and it stops the wind tech in the doors as well which is a bonus well i hope you enjoyed a little short video like that and we'll see you all next time got a couple more lined up see you soon